It has been a couple days since I've talked to the camera and it's been nice to take a little break. But today, I'm back at it. Got Bisma here. We are in Bali. We're at Tana Lot right now. And just enjoying the morning. We got here super early and as we're leaving, tour bus after tour bus of people are loading into this place. So if you're coming out to Tana Lot near Chenggu, definitely come early. But now, we are headed to do something that I wanted to do in Malaysia originally but I had a surprisingly hard time trying to find it. Today, we are gonna try durian. It's my first time, Bisma's second time, and she did not like it the first time, but I've convinced her to give it another shot. Try again. I've heard that if you don't like it in the first time, try it again, and then you'll like it, but we'll see. <laughs> so, this should be interesting. <laughs> What do you think, Biz? So far, it's the same experience. Same, similar smell. We just have a whole lot of it. It's slightly different color. I had it, it was yellow, it was more yellow. This one looks like wider. It smells like onion. What are your first thoughts? I don't know, it's, it's strange. Is something you want to eat? Is it appetizing? It's much different than I would have guessed but I have to I have to try it. It has like a smooth custardy texture. Bisma for science. <laughs> onions, still onions. Yeah, that's that's really gross. <laughs> not what you thought it'd be? No, no, that's not good. You gotta try everything at least once, but this is the last time I will try this one. For the record, I tried it twice now. Same conclusion. Not for us. <laughs> not for us. <laughs> Nope. Alright, moving on with the day. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really some gnarliness. That stuff, I think the smell is good. We walk by it and I'm like, oh, that smells pretty good. And Bismuth was like, oh my god, it's durian. And, Never uh, forget. Yeah, now that you know, <laughs> the taste is just so incredibly strong. Onion and so, so strong. It's amazing. It is, it's just really weird stuff. I, uh, I don't know why people love it so much but we did we were not able to finish that entire fruit obviously so I handed it back to the guy that worked there and I was like will you eat this and they were all amped so <laughs> that's good that it's not going to waste but I don't understand it all right off to go pack and then it's off to Ubud It's been quite the day to get to this point. We kind of fast forwarded past all of the uh, nonsense. We moved places and now we are in Ubud and we got settled after quite a long journey over here which was kind of a pain in the ass. But we are now out in the forest and it is glorious. We're going to this waterfall that is uh, a little bit off the beaten path. I'd never even heard of it and Bisma recommended it, so we're out here now. Gonna go check it out. Yeah. So, this waterfall is definitely my recommendation. If you are in Ubud, come to Tibumana Waterfall because it is a little off the beaten path. We saw a total of four tourists other than ourselves 
and it is just incredible. It's like locals only. There's like a little locals bath below the waterfall itself. And it's run by grandpa, daughter, granddaughter, and they are just the nicest people ever and very happy to see you. Cost 10,000 rupiah. I would definitely recommend coming to check this place out. I'm gonna leave the uh, location in the description below on Google Maps so you can come check it out yourself. But definitely worth the ride out here and it was really, really spectacular. Well, I think rather than ending the video here, I'm gonna take you to tomorrow where we're gonna do something really awesome, so I'll see you then. back at it again today and uh, we woke up real early with intense plans to go do something cool but the weather was raining all night long so we decided to not make that journey and instead we went to the water palace that is right here in downtown Ubud and we went nice and early and there was not very many people there but the landscape there is just stunning so incredible to see but again, it's kind of weird because it's right in downtown and the entrance is right next to a Starbucks, so. Of course. You gotta know what you're getting into. <laughs> but I would definitely recommend if you're in Ubud, go check it out, go early, skip the crowds and all of that. And now we are off to some breakfast in Ubud. Well, that was a fantastic breakfast. We went to the Seniman Coffee Studio here in Ubud, which is definitely somewhere I'd recommend. They have great cold brew, great coffee, and the breakfast was pretty good too. But now I am in like ultra chill relaxation mode. But Bisma and I, we are still trying to go see some cool stuff today. We are off to a waterfall, and no, we're not off to a waterfall, we're off to a temple. I don't even know what I'm saying. We're off to a temple, so let's go check that out. Well, I think in the uh, scale of how popular these temples are, this one is kind of lower down on the list but really it has everything that you could want. So we're walking along this beautiful rice terrace right now, and then it's got a cool temple part that has been built, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the one where it's like a burial ground for one of the previous rulers. It's a burial ground for him, and I think his wife and concubines. <laughs> temple because it started raining and uh, we're now stopped at a little Indo Maret get some liquids and uh, we came across this little stand right here and he's selling little dessert fried pieces of goodness what kind did you get I got pizza, which is strawberry flavor strawberry I got blueberry and vanilla I think this must be vanilla Yum. Little fried bite of heaven. Fried goodness to keep the day keep the day going. What do you think of the motorcycle? You just, you just, I think you just passed into uh, master class territory. Oh, good. 
I think it's the only way to see Bali, honestly. It's like the way the locals travel. So super convenient, cheap, easy, fast. Um, gotta stay calm, go with the flow. But I think it's the only way to do it. I wouldn't, I would, seeing now what it's like, I can't even imagine trying to have a driver or a car and or two people even on a bike. Like we did that a little bit. Wouldn't recommend it. We just came back from uh, from the temple and on the way it started pouring rain so we ducked in to get some lunch for like two hours <laughs> as it just poured and poured and poured so now we are finally back to our spot and just I think gonna take it easy because the roads out there are crazy a lot of ceremonies going on and just There's people around. There's a festival on the road somewhere. And the one kind of main road to get to where we're staying is uh, blocked by a landslide so we're I think we're we're kind of stuck now. <laughs> but in a good place. Yes, in a good place. <laughs> All right, well, we are in the Bali airport after what I think was too short a time here, but it was a good good time. We're all into it. good stuff. Yeah, we did a lot of fun stuff, and uh, sorry the video is a little bit of a hodgepodge, but we were hustling around, riding the motorbikes and getting after it, but we had a lot of fun. But it was really interesting. Bisma got a little message on Facebook today saying that five, five years ago today, uh, that we were actually together working mm -hmm. at Mali where we met in college which is super funny and there is a photo to go along with it so we recreated a little bit on the motorbikes today in Indonesia so I thought that was a fun little comparison that five years later here we are and uh, it's just weird weird where life takes you I don't think either of us would have ever known that this is where we'd be five years from then but and we're, we were just wondering where we'd be five years from now. Yeah, so. Where next? Interesting how life is. And now it's off to Japan for me, and Bisma's taking a little layover there, and then back home to Portland. So I will see you guys in the next few days.